Emma is a young researcher who enjoys her work in the world of science. Her professional skills include research integrity. It's self-evident for her to follow the Responsible Conduct of Research, RCR. In fact, all Finnish universities, universities of applied sciences and research institutes are committed to the guidelines for the Responsible Conduct of Research. The RCR guidelines have been drawn up by the Finnish National Board on Research Integrity, TENK. Emma is able to spot research misconduct because she has familiarised herself with the RCR guidelines on the TENK website and has read more about research integrity and research ethics on the Responsible Research website. A research integrity advisor in Emma's university can also help her, in confidence, with questions concerning the process for handling allegations of research misconduct, the RCR process. In which situations might Emma need the RCR process? For example, if she suspects that another researcher has presented her work as their own without appropriate references, that would be plagiarism. Or perhaps Emma's name has been left out of the research group's co-publication for some reason. When a researcher suspects research misconduct, the matter must be handled fair and square. Emma makes a written notification to the rector of the university and the RCR process begins. All the parties involved will be heard and the university will handle the issue objectively and without delay. Tank monitors the RCR process based on Tank's guidelines. It is to everyone's benefit that allegations of research misconduct are investigated. The Finnish National Board on Research Integrity, TENK, and the Responsible Conduct of Research, the RCR process, will help you with that.